Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. It is Monday here in the U.S. and I hope that you have a blessed week this week. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification. That way you'll know every time we upload a video. I want to talk to you uh, today, those of you that are going through some things, because boy, I tell you what, I don't know what it is um, with maybe like the last year or so, but I know not only myself, but some other Christians as well, that have been really going through some stuff. And um, it is, I mean, I, it probably has to do with the times that we're living in, because we're so close to the return of Jesus. and. Um, you know, the devil knows that he has just a short time, a very, very short time. Um, he knows he's already been conquered and defeated, but he wants to um, try to get people to turn away from God. And whenever we're going through these things, that's the last thing we need to do is turn away from God. What we need to do is we need to turn to God. We need to draw nearer to God so he will draw nearer to us. So I want to read uh, from Psalms today, and hopefully this will help to encourage uh, you out there that are really struggling with some things right now. So grab your coffee and let's get started. I'm going to be reading from Psalm, uh, Psalm 107, and I'm actually going to read the whole book of uh, Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered out of the lands from the east and to the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. He led them forth by the right way that they might go to the city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and it's the hungry soul with good, fills, I'm sorry, fills the hungry soul with goodness. Those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their chains in pieces. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all manner of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them. He delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a pattern here that all these things are happening so we can give thanks to the Lord um, because God is good. So anytime we go through troubles and trials and tribulations, draw closer to God, call out to God. He will deliver us. That's his promises. He will deliver us in our time of trouble, and then we will declare his good works. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Those who go down in the sea in the ships, who do business on great waters, they shall, whoops, uh, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount up to the heavens, they go down again to the depths, their soul melts because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm, so that the waves are still. Then they are glad, because they are quiet. So he guides them to their desired haven. Oh, that man would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him, God, also in the assembly of the people, and praise him, God, in the company of the elders. He turns rivers into wildernesses, and the water springs into dry ground. A fruitful, uh, a fruitful land 
and to harness it. I'm sorry, I cannot read this morning. He turns rivers into a wilderness, and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He turns a wilderness into pools of water, and dry land into water springs. There he makes the hungry dwell, that they may establish a city for a dwelling place, and sow fields and plant vineyards, that they may yield a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them, and they multiply greatly, and he does not let their cattle decrease. When they are diminished and brought low, through oppression, affliction, and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and causes them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet he sets the poor on high, far from affliction, and makes their families like a flock. The righteous see it and rejoice, and all iniquity stops its mouth. Whoever is wise will observe these things, and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. So... There, in just this one chapter of Psalm, Psalm 107, there's so many examples of people being in distress, whether it is believers being in distress and needing God to um, save them from their troubles, or whether it is the wicked being in distress and needing God to save them, literally just to save them through the redeeming uh, grace um, and gift of Jesus Christ and His blood that was shed on the cross. So, those of you that are going through some hard times, um, go to the book of Psalms. There's so much in the book of Psalms. It's, it's very long, um, a very long book, but it's definitely worth our reading and filling your heart with, uh, with God's Word because all of His Word is good for rebuke and correction and... Um, Redemption. I mean, we we need we need God's word. We need this book. There's some Christians out there in other countries that don't get to, to have this book. Um, and here in the U.S., this is the number one selling book. And so we're very, very, very blessed to be able to have this and and to be able to own it openly um, without too much regard of being persecuted for it, um, although there is some persecution in the U.S., but not like other places around the world. But go to the Psalms. Um, David definitely went through some very distressful times, and some of it was because of his iniquities, and some of it was not. So, but the devil is uh, very active. He wants to take the believers out. He wants to deceive even the elect, is what the scriptures say. So just be on guard, guard your heart, guard your mind, and turn to God in your time of trouble and distress. Turn to God, call out to Him, and let Him save you. So I hope this has been a blessing to you today, and I hope the peace of the Lord is with you, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.